Hello, my name is Michael Moore. I'm a amateur game developer, currently working on a prototype this month, uh, focusing on RPG aspects. I'm hoping to try to make a rough prototype of melee combat and such, but I may have to put that on hold, I'm not sure yet, and uh, focus on other RPG aspects that I'm able to do. But uh, I apologize for the delay today on the video. I know it's late and it's technically Sunday now, but oh well. Um, I've been really busy with work and other stuff this week. Um, so I wasn't able to do as much, but I had some pre-stuff I've done already to make up for it. Um, and I've been really busy with planning the project. So there's like the overall idea and like what I want to take it. Cause I'm really feeling like I like focusing on RPG stuff. So the next prototype I work on is probably going to be just taking the RPG stuff and taking it even further um, that I do this month. And if any of y'all watched my videos from my first prototype, I've taken some stuff from that video and using it in this one too. So every new prototype I work on adds more. It makes it easier to develop further stuff. Um, yeah, and a lot of the ideas I'm coming up with um, try and come up with more unique concepts than the usual generic stuff we see in games. So that's really hard and is taking up a lot of time. And I, um, need a lot of feedback for that. Uh, so the focus of this video is going to be um, inventory. So here is the inventory system. Um, as you can see, I already have some items and you can drag these items on the hotbar to use. Um, so that's why they're there. And the reason they're also there is because I have a save file, which is something I'm is currently a work in progress, but I have a rough save in place. Um, but these boxes on the ground, except this big box, this is a storage, but these smaller boxes are items. So when you get nearby, it tells you what it is. It's stone. So you, you can press E to pick it up and boom, now you got stone and then you get a message saying you've obtained your item you've obtained wood we come over here oh so what happened there the sword equipped because it was in the left shift slot and um that's also sprint so when i sprinted it equipped the sword so uh this is the equipment screen which is currently a work in progress um the only thing that currently works is the main hand. I'm still adding functionality for the other slots. Um, but if you click and drag it on here, it equips it. You can double click to unequip, double click to equip, right click to unequip. Or if you drag it in a slot, and then if I press six, it equips it. Then you can unequip it, X to close. Um, so just to demonstrate some of the other items that work, so like the man potion, the health potion, if I hit L, it gets rid of mana and health, and then I regenerate it slowly. So if I get really low and then double click health, it gets it ahead. And you can tell because it's ahead of the mana and they have the same regeneration rate. So if I hit L to get lower and then drink some mana to get that up. And there you go. And then, um, let's see, this is sorting. So you can choose a category, amount, and then you can hit this button to sort it. And I'm just sorting it by the amount. So the higher the amount, the lower it goes. Or if you can hit it, it switches it. We can have it sort by the name. So wood, sword, stone, mana, health. And we can reverse the order. Health, mana, stone, sword, wood. Um, this is how much weight I have. So every item has a weight, as you can see. 
so each piece of wood is 0.2 weight. So I have 25, so that's 6.2. Um, if I take it off and delete it, I can throw everything away. If you double click, it gets it to the lowest amount or the max amount. Um, so if I throw it away, the weight went down. If I throw this away, it gets lower. If I throw the stone away, lower. But yeah, so if I get here, there's a map I can pick up. If you double click the map, it opens up the map. Um, throw it away. I now can't open up a map. Um, it's just to show you if you throw health pots away, it gets rid of it on the health bar. So it updated. So I have 25. If I throw away, let's say, uh, if I click and hold, it speeds it up to 16. I only have 9 now. If I throw everything away, it gets rid of it. The ring is the uh, quest item. You cannot equip quest items. Uh, they're meant just for quests. So you can pick up swords. And so now my inventory is full. And this fog means I'm overweight. So I'm extremely slow because I'm over the weight. So you throw them away. Actually, I'm just going to quit and load. And so my previously saved inventory pops up. There we go. And we can go to this merchant to look at items to buy. And you can buy items. So I have 75 gold saved. Um, I can click and drag the sword to sell. And I gain 75 gold because it sells for 75 gold. Um, I can drag this to choose the amount to buy. So I'll buy 10, that's 100 gold. Took away 100, gave me 10 wood. Close out. If I need to store items, I can. So if I go to here, and then I can put a sword in here, put some wood in there, put this in there, and then I close it. And there we go. I no longer have the items, but if I come back, I open it, there they are. Um, also something to show is this chest generates random loot. So I can give it like a loot table. So if I come back and open it, it's different from before. To demonstrate again, I'll close out. So I had 21 health potions and a sword. I'll come back, 32 health potions and a sword. 56 health potions. And right now I have it set up to generate possibly a low chance to generate stone, a medium chance to generate swords, and then a high chance to generate potions. Um, so that's all the main focus stuff. I kind of wanted to show the equipment, but I already showed that, which is this, just equipping and unequipping. Um, the hot bar. Is something that's currently a work in progress as well as the equipment. Um, another thing is the crafting window, which is this, which I keep hitting. Um, you can select a sword and you need five wood, 10 stone to make this. So if I go over here and pick this up and then I open up my inventory, I have one sword and I have the one equipped. So I have two. If I hit craft, I can make one, I can make another. And then health potions are five stone. And I made another health potion. So that's a work in progress, but I'm not sure if I'm going to finish crafting because normal crafting systems are kind of like they're OK, but I want something more involved and I can't really think of anything. So I was thinking of maybe crafting spells, but that would be a tremendous amount of work. And I don't think I have the time to focus on that kind of thing. So if I come up with something, I'll try to do it. But for the now, the crafting menu is going to put it on the back burner. Um, in the next video, you can expect me to work on 
I have a prototype character I modeled. I'm going to hopefully start rigging and animating that and hopefully try to get like, uh, first I'm gonna have to get basic movement in. So just, I'm gonna have to get this kind of movement in, looking around. And then I'm gonna hopefully be able to get some, a basic melee, a basic walk animation in. Um, I don't know how much that's gonna take because I'm also learning animating, but my main priority is to get prototype animations in. So it may be really hideous. Um, <laughs> The another thing that I'm hoping to have done this week is uh, a simple controls screen because even myself I forget some of the shortcuts and the point of the controls menu is based on which screen I have open like the inventory screen it'll tell me shortcuts for that so double clicking drinks it but when it's full you can't do, do it so double click drinks it quickly so that's a shortcut for drinking or using an item double click a sword to a quick bit that that's not working for some reason. Now it's working for some reason. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I want a control screen just to remind me and uh, until like I get my game systems down and they basically teach you the controls. That way anybody I have test the game will know what to do too. Um, it's not something I'm going to rely on in the long term. It's just for development's sake. Then the other thing I'm hoping to get done this week is a prototype level. I was hoping to get that done uh, yesterday, but I just didn't have the time. So, uh, yeah. If anybody has any ideas, uh, I cannot stress enough that I appreciate all feedback. It really does help me. Um, it, even if you have an idea, like... Even if it's a bad idea, like that really does help me because it, it makes me think. And the more I'm thinking about RPG ideas, uh, the more I may come up with something really interesting. And if you have an interesting idea too, like, heck yeah, I may be able to do it. Or I may be interested in doing it. So um, if you have any ideas, please let me know because <laughs> I'm actually playing a lot more games than I should be right now and the whole sake of that is to be getting inspiration on things I need to be developing because I have this big list of things I need to do but um, I know it's only like 60% of what I need to do and there's like 40% of things that I just can't remember and so I'm playing RPGs to fill out the rest of the 40% um, For if this becomes a game in the long term. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.